Hey, so uh, my name is Jimmy Leva. I'm a natural bodybuilder. I'm 26 years old and I'm working towards uh, competing, hopefully after COVID. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Let's cut the chase. Let's cut the bullshit. Let's get to the facts right away because that's all we need is facts. We don't need no nonsense, no pretty bullshit. Okay, let's keep it real. So here's my carbohydrate sources here. These are the main sources I choose personally on a daily basis during the day. I'll either choose white rice, sweet potato or potatoes. And I'm just going to go over why I choose them and what the reasoning why. Okay. And all the numbers are going to lay out the reasonings why. So let's start off with white potatoes, 77 calories per hundred grams uncooked. So that is going to be the king of volume. You're on a low calorie diet. You're going to use white potatoes to get the most amount of food with the lowest amount of calories, right? Sweet potatoes come in at number two, 86 calories per hundred grams, which is not far off the white potato. The only reason the difference in the two is because the white potato has more water content than the sweet potato. Okay. And we're going to go over to right to white rice, white rice, right off the bat, 333 calories per hundred grams uncooked white rice doubles in size approximately because you're cooking one part water, or one part rice. So that'd be 200, cal 200 grams of cooked rice, regardless, 144 four calories for this rice or this potato versus 133 calories for the rice. So, I mean, if you're bulking, white rice is going to be a great option, right? When I was eating 700 carbs on a daily basis, I would definitely utilize white rice or else I'd be eating 1,000 grams of potatoes, right? So this would be a great option for bulking. Let's move forward down, okay? So as you can see, fat zero, you know, carbohydrates are standard. They're main source of carbohydrates. That's the primary source of fuel for potatoes, rice, and sweet potatoes. Going down, I got some check marks here, so... Winner for the fiber content is going to be sweet potato with three grams. Potatoes coming in at two and then white rice coming in at zero. As you notice, the white rice has a lot of zeros here. A lot of, it's lacking a lot of micronutrients here. Okay, but let's get back to it. Um, right into white potatoes. Let's go white potatoes. Right off the bat, you're going to look at calcium. And sweet potatoes is a winner. 30 milligrams versus nine versus zero. Winner. Sodium, 55 milligrams versus 16 versus zero. The winner is sweet potato. However, you're not going to get your the recommended daily amount of sodium from just sweet potatoes. So I recommend utilizing Himalayan pink salt in all these meals. You know, salt your meal, black pepper, all these things are going to help you digest. And, you know, sodium is, it works with potassium and water. So it's very important that you, put, you utilize salt in your meals. Going forward, as you can see, this, you know, the white rice is just an embarrassment. It's almost all zero, 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 zero. There's nothing there. It's empty carbs, no fiber to help you digest food, no potassium, like lacking potassium, right? Like it's just it's zeros overall. But well, let's move forward. Going forward, uh, the, the the winner of the potassium is the white potato. However, the sweet potato comes in at 337 milligrams versus 407. So it's very close call. So vitamin C, 337 milligrams. The white potato is going to win. Uh, when it comes to vitamin C and then moving down lutein the, the potato white potato is going to win uh, zero with sweet potato however sweet potato has a mega dose of vitamin A mega dose 14,000 IUs of vitamin A okay so if you need some vitamin A you're lacking vitamin A in a day you're going to grab some sweet potato or you're going to grab some carrots right these these are things that people don't think of this is why we eat single ingredient foods to maximize micronutrients while keeping calories very low. So if you're in a deficit, your goal should be to maximize all these little things, right? Because the body works with all these things together. You think calories, macros, and then micros. However, if you're an elite athlete, you need to address everything, everything. Macros, micros, nutrients, m minerals, water content, everything needs to be addressed when you want to become the best. So like I said, when it comes to all these carbohydrate sources, with five check marks here, when it comes to fiber, sodium, magnesium, and vitamin A, sweet potatoes are gonna win. However, if you notice with my meals, I've been doing 100 grams of sweet potatoes with 400 grams of white potatoes. So I'm getting that mega dose of vitamin A. However, I'm getting all the benefits of these white potatoes. So it's a nice balance to give you the best of both worlds. If you're really serious about your fitness, you gotta look at these things and you gotta address these things and you gotta utilize all these things. So uh, this is just a little video going over carbohydrate sources. 
I'm gonna do another one on protein sources. I'm gonna do another one on oatmeal. Uh, any any questions or concerns or anything that you want me to address, comment, like, share, uh, subscribe, and uh, lots more great content to come. Very informative, no bullshit here. Let's keep it going, let's keep it forward, and let's keep killing it, baby.